Hello, everybody. Welcome to Lee Twine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, and uh, I'm excited about this one. We got a little wine here from um, <laughs> Bulgaria. I don't know why I thought forgot where it was from. Anyway, it is called uh, the Melnik 13 Medium Sweet Red Wine. It's from uh, a producer called Demani, uh, Damian Itza. Damian Itza. Yeah, that's what it says. Um, now, this is coming from a, uh, an area in, uh, in Belgium, not Belgium, Bulgaria, and uh, it's called... How much look at my notes? <clears throat> da, 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 da. The Struma River Valley. Now, there's a town called Melnik, and that's where the name of the varietal, the grape, that's where the grape varietal name comes from. This varietal is thought to have been brought by the Thracians uh, a couple thousand years ago, this grape, and it's been grown there ever since. And uh, the actual name there is called uh, Shiroka Melnishka Loza, and that translates into the broad leaved vine of Melnik. So let's check it out. It's 1099 HB plus, by the way. Non-vintage. There was no vintage on it. In case uh, you didn't notice when I did the little thing on the bottom. Now, supposedly I'm supposed to pick up hints of tobacco. I don't really get that. Or was that another one? I think it's one of the other wines. It's one of the other wines I'm supposed to get tobacco from. It's got, I'm doing two more today. Definitely smells some dark red fruits. It doesn't smell sweet. So it probably, I mean, it says medium sweet. It doesn't smell sweet necessarily. But I am getting some kind of maybe leather out of it. Almost earthiness. And some uh, dark fruit. Let's check it out. So it, it's medium sweet. Um, it's not sugary sweet. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. I'm getting those. Um, they taste like brighter red fruit now instead of tasting the dark red fruit. Um, it's slightly sweet. I keep saying that, but it is. Um, it's very easy drinking. I like it. This is... Um, Supposedly, Churchill used to buy every year a couple barrels of this wine. I mean, not this brand, but um, of this style of wine from Mel um, from Melnick. And uh, he seemed to like it a lot. It's pretty decent. I like it. Um, it's not overly sweet. I think it's, it's sweet enough where if somebody who's not really a red wine drinker could really enjoy it because you don't have heavy tannins. Um, you, you get, there is a bit of grapiness to it, but it's not like a couple of the other really sweet wines we've had that had that grape jelly sweetness to it. Um, you could totally drink this on its own. You don't necessarily need to pair it with food, but you could pair it with, I don't know, some basic foods. You could probably pair it with pizza, um, maybe some barbecue type of stuff. Um, pretty good. The uh, the winery has been around for a while, um, if I remember right, in uh, 19, well, right before the war, World War II started, this, this particular winery started. Uh, I think in 47, it became privatized, and uh, it's been producing wine ever since. But um, yeah, it's not bad. I like it. I need to try some more Bulgarian wine out there. And uh, see what else is like because there's a lot of other varietals there that that are you know out there. This I believe is 100% Melnik. I don't think there's any other varietals in there. And um, that's really it. Oh, one thing to note about the area uh, is that it has a very strong uh, Mediterranean. Well, the the Mediterranean influences the um, 
the area, the growing area, quite a bit. Um, you know, it is, you know, kind of near Greece, and well, it borders Greece. And um, that's it. What else we got? Friend me up. Uh, hit the links. Uh, if you're watching this, and uh, <clears throat> I may have some new viewers, so I, I, what I've done is I've really expanded the, uh, the distribution of the video to a lot of different places. Matter of fact, I was on cable TV with uh, episode 52, the, um, the mission accomplished one. Um, there were a couple cable outlets in uh, Pennsylvania and a place in uh, St. Charles, Missouri. St. Joseph, Missouri. St. Joseph, Missouri. And um, late night, you know, 10.30, 1.30 in the morning, or 3.30 in the morning, I think it was. So I uh, was on that from I2TV, so uh, big ups to them. Thank you for, for doing that. I don't know if I got any major views out of it. Um, but I expanded the video distribution of it, so you might have some new viewers. Uh, those of you that uh, are watching it with the regular Viddler player, remember there's a little, the little logo down there. If you're not watching on the website, you can click that logo. And they'll take you to the website, so you can click all the links I keep talking about. Uh, and also, you can subscribe to iTunes. All those links over here, there's a, there's an iTunes link. You can it takes you right to iTunes, opens it up, allows you to subscribe to the podcast. I'm big on, you know, if you want to watch this elsewhere, like I watch a lot of video podcasts on TV. I don't necessarily go to their websites to watch them because um, it's just a, it's a more enjoyable experience. And if I really want to go to the website, I do. So uh, that's really it. We're gonna see everybody again tomorrow. <clears throat> knew I forgot something. Score. Um, I give it an 85. I think it's, I think it's a nice wine. Uh, it's different. It's, you know, not new. It's new to me. It's different. Um, I, the sweetness is nice, but I'm not really into really sweet wines unless they're like dessert wines. So that's probably why I'm, I'm it probably other people might give it like an 88 to 89 type of thing. But from my palate, uh, 85. Solid wine. Um, and that's it. See you tomorrow.